Yo, what's good? Welcome back in the kitchen. My name is Kayla. In case you don't already know, I'm not a chef, but I do know how to cook. So today, um, I just want to first of all say I am super sorry for not being consistent on this channel, but I'm back again. Life just got into the way. Like I'm literally a full-time student and I am a full-time worker. So it's very hard to balance YouTube. But that doesn't mean I am giving up. I am still here. I am just um, doing things a little bit more slowly in terms of YouTube. But that's okay. It's Thanksgiving weekend. It's a reading week. I'm ready to cook this entire week. So today, you guys will be just in time for Thanksgiving because you're going to be making pumpkin pie. So I'm going to show you guys how to make pumpkin pie. To be honest, this is my first time actually making it. I'm actually going to be doing what you guys do and following a recipe on YouTube. I'm going to see if it turns out because, you know, on YouTube, sometimes things look real good. So that doesn't mean that it's actually, you know, not store-bought or it doesn't mean that it's actually um, homemade or it was made then and there. Just so you guys know, when I film my videos, I literally film it the same time I'm actually making it. So if it turns out bad, then either I won't be posting or I will show you guys how it turns out. Today we are gonna be making pumpkin pie because it's Thanksgiving and I just wanna do something for the season. Um, so um, make sure that you guys grab all the ingredients which you're gonna see in the next clip and then we're gonna get started, okay? Okay, so what you will need for this dish, um, first of all, the main ingredient, the pumpkin. Make sure that it is a pie pumpkin. So they're also known as sugar pumpkins. There's a bunch of names. When I went to the store, it already had like the stem cut off, but uh, you're gonna have to cut that off anyway, so it's whatever. Um, you're gonna need four eggs, but we're gonna be using just three um, eggs, just the yolk, and then one full egg. Uh, we will also need, of course, your um, pie crust. So go ahead and get yourself either the pie crust, make it yourself, or you can get the ones that are already um, baked. Do whatever you like for that. Um, you're going to need um, different seasonings. So we've got, we're gonna be putting a little bit of salt in there. We've got some Chinese five spice. We've got some ground ginger, ground cinnamon, and some ground nutmeg. Go ahead and get fresh ingredients if that's what you like. Um, we're also going to need something really important, which is sweetened condensed milk. So definitely um, grab yourself some sweetened condensed milk. That's going to be adding more sweetness to the pie. Who likes a pie that's not sweet? I don't know. And we're also going to, of course, need whipped cream. So um, yeah, definitely get yourself whipped cream. And then some of the baking needs that you're going to need. So obviously a knife to cut the pumpkin. You will also need a um, big bowl that you can mix the ingredients into. You will need something to bake your pie in, so get the pie uh, baking sheets. And you will need a blender or a food processor, something that is able to blend your ingredients up. And sorry, I forgot the whisk, of course. Get yourself a whisk. And um, that is pretty much it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take the pumpkin and I am going to cut the stem off, so the very first part, and also the back part of it. Like that, okay? And then what you're gonna do is cut it in half. Like that. So now that we have our two halves, you're gonna grab a spoon, and we're gonna scoop out that inside part of the um, pumpkin. We don't want any seeds and we don't want any of like the stringiness at all because we're mainly just using the actual um, pumpkin itself, not the inside. You can definitely save the seeds if you'd like. Pumpkin seeds are so good um, when you bake. Um, bake them in the oven and add some seasoning on them. They're lit. And so you really gotta like scrape it on the inside. And that will, oh, okay, I'm making a mess. Um, <laughs> when you're done, it should look pretty much like this. And you're gonna do the same for the other half of the pumpkin, okay? All right, so now I have my two halves cut in half and the membrane and the seeds are out of the pumpkin. I did the best I could do. This is some hard work, I'm not gonna lie. But now what we're gonna do, guys, is grab a baking sheet and you're going to put your pumpkins face down, so with the skin up onto your baking sheet. Um, and we're gonna be baking it into the oven for about like 45 minutes in total. 
So I've already got my oven preheated to 425. What we're going to do after we take it out of the oven is peel the skin off and we're going to use our blender and we're gonna puree it. So that way we can make our filling for the pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna go ahead, put these bad boys in the oven. One eternity later. All right guys, so it has been about 40 minutes. I've taken my pumpkins out of the oven and I am ready to start making our pumpkin pie. So, um, what I'm gonna be doing now is actually peeling the skin off of the pumpkin. We're gonna throw it into our blender and we're going to puree it. So I'm just gonna be using my hands and I'm gonna peel it. Be very careful, depending on when you took this out of the oven, it might still be very hot. So keep that in mind. Oh my God, it's so easy. This is so cool. Okay guys, so now what I'm actually gonna do is put the pumpkin pieces into my blender. So I'm gonna kinda just break it off with my hands cause it's like, that easy to break and put it in to my blender now I'm going to try to avoid putting liquid in this I think it naturally has some liquid um, but I don't want to make the puree too watery so I'm going to just puree it straight up <laughs> so it is time to puree so I'm gonna grab my blender and put the lid on and hope for the best. Nothing's happening. <laughs> okay, so because I want to improvise, what I'm going to do is put some of the um, condensed milk in here because I'm going to end up doing that anyway. So I'm going to put some condensed milk inside right now. That way it does have a little bit of liquid and it will help uh, puree. All right, let's try this again. Puree. Okay, I'm adding more to condensed milk. Again. Okay, before I give up, I think I'm gonna add some water, very little bit of water at a time until the blender starts to turn and work because you gotta puree this. I don't want it to be stringy or too uh, chunky, and this is the only blender I have. So, guys, come on, come on. Like I said, it's my first time making this. Giving you guys my honest, uh, my honest experience based off of a YouTube video. So yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, and hopefully that helps. Determined. Determined. I'm sure this is how you guys are when you follow my videos. I'm gonna give you the same view that I have. Right there. It's looking like a smoothie. <laughs> okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm breaking a sweat trying to make this pumpkin pie. But anyways, we did it. Make sure you unplug your blender so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, so it's very thick. I'm gonna pour it in to my bowl and then we're gonna put in all of our ingredients as I look for in the recipe. Literally, baby food. This is how the puree looks. Very smooth, very soft. We're ready to make into a pie. Okay. Okay guys, so the recipe calls for some ground cinnamon so we want it to have a nice cinnamon touch to it so it actually didn't tell me how much to put but that's okay because you already know your girl doesn't measure got some ground ginger I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in because I don't really want it to be gingery so I'm gonna throw a little bit in here oh. and some ground nutmeg very strong And of course, 
your one can of condensed milk. So we already have some in there, but we're pouring the rest out now. It does ask for a can, so I'm putting the whole thing. Oh no, I forgot the eggs. No. And I got my uh, Chinese five spice. Just a little bit of five spice. A little bit of salt to bring out all of the spices. And I'm going to stir it all in there. Delicious. Okay. I'm going to get my eggs in a bowl. Let me get those ready. I should have put it in first, but don't worry. Okay, so the recipe calls for four eggs, but you're going to be using one full egg and three egg yolks. So we're going to go ahead and crack our eggs into a bowl or a cup. And now I have to get egg yolks. I'm so scared. Hmm, how do I do this? So I just want the, the yolk of the egg. I believe this is how you do that. I'm not a baker. And I believe I successfully got the yolk. <laughs> Bam, there is one egg and three egg yolks all in a cup and I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. Going. Okay, so yeah, back on track, we're gonna mix everything together and we are going to make sure that we get out all of the lumps. We want it to be a nice smooth pie. In the video, it did mention that the reason you put the three egg yolks only, not have four full eggs in there, is to prevent it from cracking and it gives it a much more creamy and smooth texture. Um, so that is why we put three egg yolks and one full egg. So now it's time for the pie crust. I'm going to put it into my pie pan and I'm just gonna follow the instructions according to this because I'm not making it from scratch. You don't have to, that is totally your preference. Oh my God. It comes already ready. I wasn't expecting that. I'm so happy. Scratch what I said guys, scratch what I said. I was like really reading the box at the store, like does it already have these things or do I need to buy them? So I bought them and it already comes in it. That's lit. I am so happy. I really, I honestly, that was a real moment. I did not expect that. So it looks really good. It's ready to go. <laughs> I just gotta pour my stuff in. Okay guys, so since my pie crust is ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the pumpkin mixture into the pie crust. So that way it can turn out to be pumpkin pie. Okay, so I did that. I don't want to lift it up because I'm too scared it's going to fall out of the pan. But it's looking good. I'm going to preheat the oven to 425 again. And we are going to let it bake for a total of about 40 minutes, 15 minutes at 425. And then we're going to lower it to 3. 60 sorry to 350 for another 30 to 35 minutes or until it is basically ready I'm gonna go ahead put these bad boys in the oven and I'll see you guys when it's ready okay guys this is how my pies are looking right now it's looking really really good so I'm gonna poke a hole and see um, if it's ready I can see kind of a lump in there so I doubt it's ready So it's pretty clean. Yay. So I think I'm gonna leave it for like five minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and let it cool down. Yo guys, the pie is ready. I cut myself a slice, so here it is. And I am very happy with the way that it turned out. Like aesthetically, it looks really good. Um, I even got a little whipped cream on there, you know what I'm saying? The crust, I didn't make it. Um, it is what it is. It looks the way it looks, but the pie itself that we made from scratch 
it looks good. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. So I'm gonna try it out right now. All right. Oh my God. I can't believe it turned out this good after the stress we went through. It, it tastes amazing. Mmm. I'm gonna be making this pie more often. Mm. Well then. It's really good. Definitely try this recipe out. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I'll be sharing other recipes with you guys. All kinds of recipes, all different types of food. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe. Also, comment down below any suggestions if, that you guys might have for me to make. I'll definitely be very open to trying new recipes or making recipes for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope you guys spend lots of good time with your friends and family. And eat lots of pie. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out. Peace.